Hi students, welcome to SPS Varsity. In the previous session, we discussed about the animal kingdom classification. So we discussed the general characteristics, examples up to arthropod. In this session, we are going to discuss about the next phylum that is mollusca. So molluscans are triploblastic. They have three embryonic layers, ectodom, mesodom and endodom. They have coelom, so they come under coelomates. When you come to symmetry, it is bilaterally symmetrical. Body can be divided into two equal halves in only one plane. So they are bilaterally symmetrical. And there are both forms, terrestrial as well as aquatic forms. So the molluscans are body is surrounded by calcareous shell except few organisms like slugs and octopus. And even in some organisms like sepia, there is an internal shell. Okay. So body is not divided into segments, but it is divided into three parts. That is head, ventral muscular foot, dorsal visceral hump. So respiratory organs and excretory organs, that is uh, respiratory organs are gills which are present below the mantle. So when you come to the next general characteristic features of molluscans, head has tentacles and mouth has rasping organ that is called radula. So the rasping organ is called radula. So they are oviparous which lay eggs. Okay. Larva is trochophallate or velger larva. Examples may have to pila, pinctada, sepia, loligo, octopus, these all are examples of molluscans. Up the exact picture me. Dentalium, chiton, octopus, inu, sepia, limnia, peril oyster, or land snail. A pura molluscans examples. So this is about the phylum mollusca and the next is echinodermata, next phylum echinodermata. So echinodermata meaning kya hai ki uska body mein spines reta. Mostly they are marine. They have three embryonic layers, ectodum, mesodum and endodum. So they are also coelomates like molluscans. Okay. When you come to adults, when you come to symmetry in adults, they are radially symmetrical. So body part in five axis, penta mirrors ready, that means in five planes. Larvae is but bilaterally symmetrical. So body is covered by exoskeleton which has calcareous like structures, they are called ossicles. So mouth is present on lower side and anus is present on upper side. Okay. And in echinodermata there are 
there is water vascular system so in poriferens there is water canal system water canal system is different from water vascular system so water vascular system has two feet which has different function two feet which is meant for locomotion capturing food and respiration A nerve ring is present encircling the mouth which supplies to nerves to each and every arm. So six sets are separate with five pair of six organs, one in each arm. So external fertilization. Fertilization takes place outside the female body. इसमें फर्टिलाइजेशन बाहर होता है इसको क्या बोलते हैं कि एक्सटर्नल फर्टिलाइजेशन सो फ्री स्विमिंग लार्वा एग्जांपल स्टार फिश एकनसी अर्चिन एंटीडॉन सी लिली सी कुकुम्बर ओफियोरा ब्रिटिल स्टोर ये पूरा एकेनोडर्मेटा के एग्जांपल से एक देख सकते हैं आप स्टोर फिश का इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस आर टू फीट विच हैज डिफरेंट फंक्शंस लाइक लोकोमोशन कैप्चरिंग ऑफ फूड दिस ऑल विच हैज टू पार्ट दैट इज अपर एंड लार्ज वन इज कॉल्ड एम्पुलर एंड द एलोंगेटेड वन इज कॉल्ड पोडियम एंड व्हेन यू कम टू सी द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम इज सेंट्रल रिंग लाइक कैन ऑल which supplies to nerves to each and every arm okay and these are digestive glands anus is present towards upper side which is opening and mouth is present towards lower side okay so till now what we studied is the about the non chordates the phylum sub to non chordates that is when it look into the phylums that is porifera cilentrata tinophora platyhelminthes nematyhelminthes annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata now we are going to discuss about chordates chordate means which have on dorsal side they have a hollow nerve tube okay. which becomes spinal cord in some organisms which is called notochord is present and pharyngeal gill seeds are present at some stage in the life cycle heart is present on the ventral side notochord on the dorsal side heart on the ventral side okay. so these are the phylum chordata features and they are ectriploblastic so they have ectodum endodum mesodum three layers in their embryonic stage their coelomates they have body will have coelom true coelom that's why they come under coelomates and they are bilaterally symmetrical that means organism can be divided into two equal halves in only one plane so this plane only we can divide into two equal halves which is called bilaterally symmetrical here it comes the classification of chordata so when it come to classification of chordata it is divided into two divisions one is protochordata next is vertebrata so protochordata in this a craniates they come examples comes amphioxus balanoglossus sds vertebrata it is again divided into two subphylums 
अज्ञातावितोस जोस ज्ञातावित जोस in gnatha's tomato there are two super classes that is one is spices another one is tetrapoda so spices means fish where cartilaginous fishes it has two classes chondry thighs and bony fishes osti thighs and in tetrapoda there are again four classes amphibia reptilia aves and mammals okay so vertebrata is divided into based on jaw sagnata and gnatha stomata again gnatha stomata is divided into two super classes pisces and tetrapoda pisces means fishes all fishes will come under pisces यार कॉटलेजनेस फिशेस को क्या बोलते कि कॉन्ट्री थाइस बोनी फिशेस इसको क्या बोलते कि ऑस्टी थाइस टेट्रापोडा में चार क्लासेस से एम्फीबिया रेप्टाइलिया एव्स और मैमल्स तो हमें डिस्कस करेंगे सब फाइलम हेमी कोडेटर के बारे में सो दे आर कॉल्ड टंग वॉम्स so they worm like marine animals they have organ system level of organization they have organ system level of organization if you look into the body of this tongue worms it is composed of the anterior part proboscis below this collar and a long trunk पिक्चर में देख सकते हो इसको क्या बोलते हैं कि प्रोबोसिस सो दिस इज कॉलर एंड रिमाइनिंग द एंटायर वन इज द लॉन्ग ट्रंक द लॉन्ग ट्रंक एंड हियर द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज ओपन टाइप सो रेस्परेशन इज बाय गिल्स एक्सक्रीशन बाय प्रोबोसिस ग्लैंड्स सेक्सेस आर सेपरेट दे आर इनिसेक्शुअल फर्टिलाइजेशन इज एक्सटर्नल डेवलपमेंट इज इन डायरेक्ट डाइजेशन इज कंप्लीट एग्जाम्पल्स बलनो ग्लासेस साइको ग्लासेस एंड वेन यू कम टू कॉर्डिटर क्लासिफिकेशन it is divided into five limbs that is tunicator it is also called urocordator second one cephalocordator and the third one vertebrator so when you come to tunicates where it is body is covered by tunicin okay. examples acidia and solpa which are mostly marine a notochord is present only in larval tile okay notochord is present only in larval tile so in tunicata notochord is present only in the larval stage in the tile region and when you come to next phylum that is cephalocordata Example: Amphioxus lancelets, Branchiostoma. Okay. Not a cord is present from head to tail throughout the life. Okay. And next, when you come to subphylum vertebrata, so not a cord is present. nervous system is present on dorsal halo and single pharynx is perforated by gill slits heart is ventral okay. a post anal tail is present and in vertebrates the notochord is replaced by cartilaginous or bony vertebral column so vertebrates have 
ventral side on the ventral side there is a muscular heart so here the excretory organs or kidneys okay so the paired appendages it may be either fins or limbs And when you come to this vertebrates classification, it's me two classes say. Without jaws, usko kya bolta hai ki agneta. With jaws, usko kya bolta hai ki gnata stomata. So agnata means which will come under that is example cyclostomata. Gnata stomata is again divided into two groups. Super class that is Pisces and Tetrapoda. Okay. So Pisces and Tetrapoda. Okay. So Pisces means all fishes which bear the fins as their locomotory organs for swimming. Tetrapoda means four. There are four limbs. Okay. They all come under Tetrapoda. So in tetrapoda again the classes like amphibia, reptilia, apes, mammals will come under tetrapoda. Okay. So first we'll discuss about the cyclostomata. That is which come under agnata without jaws. Agnata means lack of jaws. They are mostly ectoparasites which live on the surface of the body. Ecto means which live on the surface of the body. They have circular and sucking mouth without jaws. They don't have scales. Cortilaginous. Mostly marine, migrate to fresh water for laying eggs. Petromyzone, the examples are petromyzone and myxine. Okay. Here you can see the examples. Hackfish, lamprey. So they have tentacles, gill slits for respiration, mucus glands. Okay. There are gill openings in lamprey. There are seven pairs of gill openings. So this is about the Agnata. Now we will come into Gnata stomata. So Gnata means which have jaws. In this, that is if you take in this, there are two divisions. One is Pisces and another one is Tetrapoda. Amphibians, reptiles, seals, mammals will come under tetrapod. So here when you come to Pisces. In Pisces again there are two groups. One is chondry thighs and another one is called osti thighs. So chondry thighs means they are fishes. They have true jaws and fins. Okay. They have gills with gill slits for respiration. No air bladder here. And the skeleton is cartilaginous skeleton. Example, shorts, skates, rays. These all will come under chondry thighs. And when you come to osti thighs, osti thighs means bony fishes. Chondry thighs means cartilaginous fishes. In this both forms are present, fresh water as well as marine forms are present. Okay. Here gills are free and they are covered by a gill plate that is called operculum. They have true jaws and paired fins. Anyway, fishes will have two chambered heart, only one atrium 
and one ventricle there is only one atrium and one ventricle the heart is two chambered and there is bony skeleton they have swim bladders examples exocetus labio catla so catla labio these all are examples of the ostetas and when it comes to amphibians characteristic features amphi means which live both on land as well as water so they are fresh water as well as terrestrial land living so here when you come to amphibians so gills are present at some stage respiration is by lungs or skin slimy silk lack of scales they don't have scales okay. limbs are there without claws they have three chambered heart and they undergo metamorphosis from the tadpole to the adult stage so fertilization is external so eggs are laid in water and moist area and they are ectothermic ectothermic means they are also called cold blooded animals body temperature is same as the environment okay. they don't have a constant temperature so they come under ectotherm example frog toad salamanders this all will newts will come under amphibians and when you come to class reptilia when it take characteristics they are terrestrial and semi aquatic they breathe by lungs in all stages body is covered by scales except few crocodiles that is there have there are generally three chambered heart three chambered heart means they have two atrium and one ventricle except crocodilians they are oviparous as well as oviparous okay eggs are covered by shell amnion fertilization is internal fertilization takes place within the female body so they also come under ectothermic weight body temperature is not constant it is equal to the temperature is equal to the environment it will be changing according to the environment they don't have constant temperature isko kya bolte hai ki ectothermic or even ectothermic is also called cold blooded animals they are called cold blooded animals examples snakes turtles alligators lizards these all will come under reptilia okay crocodiles these all will come under reptilia so the next class is aves so aves means the flying one when you look into the characteristics basically aves they are covered by feathers which are meant for flying so which are meant for fly so the four limbs are modified into wings and they have four chambered heart in this two atrium and two ventricles are present so is me heart me 
four chambers are the upper two chambers two atrium or lower chambers two ventricles they are oviparous egg laying one endothermic endothermic means they have a constant body temperature they maintain a constant body temperature whatever it is the outside temperature the body temperature will be constant they are called endothermic warm blooded animals and they are bipedalous walk on two feet examples you can take all birds flamingo pelican hawk turkey pigeon parrot hummingbird kingfisher woodpecker like this you can take all examples of birds will come under aves okay so from aves if you look into this there are four chambered art that is in reptile it is three chambered amphibia three chambered and when you come to pisces fishes it is two chambered so if you look into the heart the number of chambers is gradually there is a evolution in the heart and the last class comes which in this that is uh, the class mammalia when you came to this class mammalia the body is covered by hair and they are endothermic so they don't have constant body temperature it is four chambered heart so in this four chambered heart two are atrium and two are ventricles and they main characteristic feature is mammary glands which will secrete milk okay. so that is the lower jaw is called mandible okay. upper jaw maxillary they give rise to young ones vivi paras which are surrounded by placenta in their developmental stage the teeth are differentiated and they are specialized so you can take examples platypus kangaroo human shrew bat squirrel whale sea cow elephant cat horse deer all will come under this mammals okay. elephant kangaroo cow bat humans monkey these all will come under mammals So in mammals, the fertilization is internal, and the during development it is covered by embryo, embryo which will uh, placenta, which will it is a functions like a tissue which supplies to the food and water, to the oxygen, to the developing fetus. Okay. So here, if you come to this mammals. the major characteristic feature is they have mammary glands which secrete milk during lactation period especially in the females in males the mammary glands are reduced it doesn't have a specific function role in the males okay. so dolphin rabbit spring hare these all will come under elephant kangaroo cow these all will come under mammals okay So mammals has four chambered heart. They are endothermic. So here endothermic means warm blooded. So aves, mammals will come under. They have which has four chambered and endothermic. Whereas when you come to reptilia, amphibians, pisces, they come under ectothermic. Which have temperature equivalent to temper uh, environment. and in pisces there is two chambered heart in amphibians there is three chambered heart in reptilians there is also three chambered heart except few examples like alligator and crocodiles which has four chambered heart whereas in aves and mammals there is a four chambered heart okay 
Sir, when you could take uh, the vertebrator, there are two divisions. One division is Pisces, another one is Tetrapod. In Pisces, there are two divisions, Contri Thais and Osti Thais. In Tetrapoda, there is four divisions, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves, or Mammals. So entire if you take uh, uh, chord data, we can have three divisions, tunicator, cephalochord data, and next is vertebrata. In vertebrata again, there is agnatha, gnatha stomata. In gnatha stomata, if you take, there are again Pisces and tetrapoda. So this is the entire division of the animal kingdom. So where we studied about non-chordates, phylums and chordata. So this is about the classification of animal kingdom. Thank you all. Follow us on social media. Let's meet in the next session.